Space. 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 Wherein previously, two brothers walked in mortal struggle against the universe, where we concluded we're essentially already in a position where you could say we've won. We're just kind of looking for a final glory lap to go carving up more of the universe. We have taken on one of the olds. The humans are no more. Not, at least not the old humans. Human is gone. New man begins. We have yeah. created the sequel to humans. Human Mark II. They now know the glory of the queen. So, our basically our plan at the moment is... I guess it's... It's trying to just conquer everyone else. Yep. And it's either to do that or, or when the Endgame Crisis shows up, depending on what it is. Which, I, it can no longer be the War in Heaven ever, because we destroy one of the fallen empires. Yes, it, the non-War in Heaven show. Crisis, so either robots, Scourge, or Unbidden. Yeah. Either, you yeah. know, defeat the crisis or do the other. Yeah, we were going to go fight your old. You get to take an old as well. And yep. then all the remaining individual creatures of space have formed a federation to resist us. So, us, the federation that is two brothers. So, yeah, it's just the next wars we start will be ongoing. We'll just take as we want. Go ahead and start time. Ah, yes. A typical speed of one or fast, depending on your perspective on things. Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, I'm just kind of building a ton, a ton of ships. Because mm -hmm. I, I appear to have an absurd amount of surplus of everything. Yes, complete. we're at that phase where its scarcity no longer complete. exists. Construction so, like, most of my expenses have been throwing more. Complete capital ships into complete. the Federation fleet that gets passed back and forth between us. Construction complete. Or yeah. powerful hybrid vessels. Construction complete. The main thing is that I'm at plus 400 or so energy, and I'm over my fleet capacity too, so mm -hmm. it's kind of... I'm just suiting up here to hit the Guardians and hit them hard. Oddly enough, they like me. They're the only people in the entire galaxy, I think, that Construction enjoys complete. my company. Hmm. Fascinating. CLC to review the bees. We've They themselves have been heavily augmented as well. This is like the Mark 3 or 4 iteration of bees. Having achieved many powerful traits. Yeah, Erudite, wise, bee, wise bees. Construction complete. And it's uh, mostly that I've burned off their other flaws. They're, they contain many elements of bees classic. They're still repugnant. Right? Absolutely. We've I added that back in as a feature during the final pass. Of hmm. course, that's just how they do. We found a stray atom bomb on one of the human worlds. Complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Nice. Situation log updated. Better smother that with body complete. heat. Humans, please. Clean up after your ancient primeval wars. Special project complete. I also do have a sector again that was left over from the last wave of conquering. The snack sector. a small influx of energy to keep it moving. 
Although I am a sizable energy deficit. Hmm. Oh, are you? Would you like some assistance? Maybe. Let me, let me properly dock the Fed fleet. See what that does. Hmm. We are slightly over on Fed Fleet, it looks like. Ah, okay. that might be okay if we're. Extremely yeah. slight. 540 it's, over it's 44. Yeah, it's six points. Uh, it's not too big a deal. That's with intolerance. Yeah, if you require energy assistance, I can provide. I'll sort it out. Don't worry about it. There we go. That's a good Where's a good place to put this? Yeah, there it is. That's perfect for this. All right, there's some little oh. sectors I could tap into. My, my patron of the artisans. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, Crusaders awaken. Yes, let's go. Let's go cut that off. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, as it is, uh, decline. So, oh, yeah, they're gonna hit me anyway. They are now more powerful than I am. Probably. Slightly more powerful mm -hmm. than both of us already. They, they get a large power boost for people awakening at all. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that if we were to take out their, their their stuff, they would have no uh, resource for money because they can yep. not repair their fleets fast enough. Yeah, uh, I recommend us sending over the war swarm now. Oh. Uh, apologies to live viewers and the recording that uh, level processing involved here is causing some garbling. Let me just let me remove some things that could be causing issues in the background. Yeah, I closed my browser. Let's go ahead and simplify some things. Yeah, the the more elaborate workflow that I figured out for Hearts of Iron will probably apply it to other future para games as well, just because the benefits of splitting the game between two machines is going to be very tangible in terms of performance and smoothness. Right. Having game on one, stream on the other. Benefits of new technologies made possible by viewers, etc. I desperately need more influence. Get rid of this, so you're going to get access to a planet, or three, or a lot. Yeah, you get access to two systems that I think you get the benefits of. Like, they don't lose, yeah, they didn't lose their uh, mining stuff, that's just yours now. Mm hmm. Yeah, it lost me my anger. Vapor, but I don't need endless vapor at this point. As I went down the di the diplomacy path, I've got the benefits of plus some habitability anyway. So my recommendation is that we just hit the Zadrins now. Just hit absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Pause I will sign I'm off on all attack orders. So our goal is going to be to take out all of their spaceports after destroying most of their fleet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vote especially yes. Let's go. The 
Construction complete. Chase down that one. We got jump drives now, right? Yeah, I yeah we had jump drive. That'll solve most problems. So, yep, my war swarm arrived. Construction complete. Let's go into... Into Rukba there? I'm going, in, I'm going into Anachronis because they're just... They're building stuff in there. Alright. Yeah, we'll follow. Strike at the heart of the problem. I wouldn't be surprised if their main fleet is something like 140,000 strong already. Wagon Empires can have very, very large, terrifying fleets. Mm -hmm. And of course, I will send the Fed fleet into the plunder. Although, I think. I think their main fleet is actually distracted at the moment because they are embroiled in a different war. As yeah, they well. launched an attack on some other young people before we got the drop on them. The Empire of the Ma Damnation of the Mirovs, so down in the bottom left somewhere. I know mm -hmm. it's good for them, they'll bring their stuff up, but if they don't, that's actually A-OK -okay for us. Yep. And so, uh, so the setup for the other more powerful recordings is I have separate laptop and travel machine thing that was using over vacation that it HDMI's out into the capture box used for consoles, which then feeds back into desktop machine. And yes, to remind to anyone returning here or arriving here for the first time, per gimmick, I've decided to make the fleet of bees entirely carriers. Pure strike craft battleships. After learning some stuff about strike craft and how they work, strike craft are more effective than missiles are and torpedoes are right now. So yeah, that's they, good. in particular, one of the like mechanical foibles that makes missiles underperform right now is if a missile's target dies, the missile vanishes, whereas strike craft can redirect to new targets. Yeah. And so, like, a missile-oriented fleet will then waste a lot of its alpha damage because it'll fire a salvo of missiles at a target and then probably get another salvo off before the first one hits. And then that entire second wave will get deleted when the first wave does enough damage to start taking out some boats. And so you end up with a whole lot of wasted killing power, whereas strike craft, since they are kind of out there as persistent entities, will drift from target to target Situation doing what they do. Updated. Do you have an army? Excuse me? Do you have an army to send in here for capturing oh, the yeah. uh, I've got uh, a 15 strength gene warrior army that can get in here as soon as I'm Good. on to. Because there's another thing that happened during previous session. My own army vanished into a bug. There's... 17 highly augmented bees that are in the abyss beyond dimensions. Yeah, it's a rare but still consistent across like five versions bug. Alright, on to... Uh, Dam or, or... Or Magam. Yeah, if there's... Yeah, they have stuff in Magam at the moment. Yeah. Be like always taking out their Magam is also the capital. Yeah, capital so, system. Yeah, burn that down. Ah, if only that we could colonize the mistake. That'd be correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Magam is also their only other place where they're building anything, so mm -hmm. that's ideal for us. Oh, um also two be known. Oh wait, no, no, no. Uh, you took Galactic Contender, right? Yes, I yeah. do believe I did. So mm -hmm. we are actually roughly the same strength against them. Yeah, I have Contender. An oh, extra actually, no, third you. damage to Fallen or Awakened oh, Empire. <laughs> Veteran know, Old Breakers. 
the fact that the Federation fleet is yours right now probably matters a lot to that. Yep. The moment that they're mine, they forget how to do it. That's great. Uh, I, on the other hand, have Defender of the Galaxy, so when the, um, yeah, the when Endgame Crisis the, shows up... When the Crisis shows up, that'll be your show. Oh, they're Titan. Uh, the moment so, so, they destroy their Titan, they are, are going to lose t so many resources that, uh... They're gone. Construction mm -hmm. complete. Oh boy, the solid shape. The uh Yep, that's a Titan. That's so there exists. Right now I think only olds can build them. Yep. Construction. The tier complete. the tier five vessel. The ship beyond large boat. One large it's diamond. Titan tier, class. Six. tier six. Because it's hmm. stronger than the dreadnought. Oh yeah, that's an in-between situation log updated. It's gone now. Yep, it's melted. To be frankly, Frank, it never existed. Uh, here's been my casualties of this war so far. One battleship and two corvettes. Such mega weapons are never worth their weight in bees. We're doing also, this, this is combat I'm doing while under energy deficit and suffering all the debuffs from that. Oh, you... we're fine. We got this. You sure? Because I can yeah. give you. I have 200 per month that I can spare. I'm gonna you. fix the energy deficit by letting some of my boats explode. Okay. Situation log updated. You're absolutely sure. Possible, I would like to take. It's probably objectively better for us to um, zoom around and take out all of their spaceports. Yeah, do than... production denial first, then occupy. Yeah. We Which, haven't even yeah, seen them yet. They're olds that we have engulfed, so it's not going to take too long. Situation log. Updated. Construction complete. Uh, what in the world happened to my... Oh, my Admiral must have died. Hmm. Tragic. There's a new one. Alright, so follow-up attack on Sky Temple. Just be sure to scour the system. Yeah, Sky Temple, and then there's that uh, outpost over there that I'm going to move over to as well. Yep. And look at the fleet side by side here. They have much more, you know, numeric firepower than mine per size because they're using spinal mount weapons. Strike craft are, in absolute terms, lower DPS than other many other weapon systems, but you know they make up for that with their flexibility and their other particulars. Yeah, because in a way that's difficult to measure because they still don't show up in the damage outlier. Complete. It's okay. Which, which of these categories is bees? None, apparently. Bees are invisible. The effects of bees on your life cannot be measured the effects of bees on your lungs. Yeah, also, hangers also function as a very effective point, to fight, point defense, too, so, mm -hmm. as long as you have fighter wings, but... Yeah, fighters are hybrid point defense and gun. Bombers are pure gun. Bombers are better missiles.
the laser show that the fighters do is it's very gorgeous. I like it a lot. Oh hell yes. Look at all It's very good shots. that they've managed to optimize visual. This back in like release version, this amount of violence would have been grinding this machine down to single digit frames per second. As demonstrated during the jam wars. This is just this one outpost over here left, and then we can move on to Situation. next system would be Irani. No, 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 Rukba. Rukba is actually where their uh, their fleet is. All right, Rukba is. Fleet. So commence to throw down. We take out this, yeah, the moment we take out this outpost, we'll move into there and we'll take them out because we have a numerical advantage on them. You basically count as uh, right now. So, 47, plus 47 times... I, uh, I occasionally consider modifying Paradox games. Mostly, it was something I did more back in the last era of Paradox, when mods were kind of a necessary component of getting a functional experience. These days, I tend to find the vanilla game enjoyable enough that I don't start going after mods Post beyond, like... Station. Alternate start, alternate map mods for the historic ones. Those are very valuable. Yeah, the only mods that I have in, installed on Solaris are, are mostly cosmetic ones. Like, there's one that increases the number of star types and has, like, rogue planets and stuff. Nice. And also one that forces all special systems to spawn. That's it. Awesome. Those are the only mods. Yeah, like, in particular, as far as modded games that might go about streaming. Uh, someone put together a randomizer mod for Hearts of Iron to just shuffle all the territories on the map into random countries. So that's... I already know that's a good idea because there was a randomizer for Hearts 3 built around the same principle, and that was quite fun. Alright, so I paused it real quick because mm -hmm. um, their fleet moved. It's in Parsacks now. Uh, Alright, so let's pursue and destroy. Yeah, I... I recommend you just go ahead, click on it, and we can begin. I have set the target. Let decisive battle be joined. Excellent. Here it is. They are moving... No. Okay, they are actually heading out into Parsecs. For reasons I don't understand. Yeah. We have a numerical advantage of them that's nearly two to one. We're going to take that fleet out. Uh, and they we have chosen this place to die. Since we have destroyed their Titan, they have nothing, pretty much. Alright there, just to be sure that this fight goes well for us, let me burn some influence on capacity overloads back in the home front. Yeah. Uh, would you like me to just give you a bunch of cash right now? Uh, I would accept a lump sum of cash, sure. Here's 10,000. Mm, taking a moment for the notification to actually reach me might be... Slow down the game speed a notch. Incoming transmission. Done. Yeah, we seem to be nominally in sync, but that's probably under a fair bit of strain on the UI side. And the battle is joined. Okay. Uh, should I keep it at normal speed? Yes. Maintain during normal. this fight. Yes. Perhaps afterwards as well, who knows. Are those focused Archimeters? Mm, they might be. They are. They're they're using Proton torpedoes, plasma cannons, and focused arc emitters as their damage. That's interesting. Uh, the fact that I have um, Corvettes means I should be a little bit weak to that, but you're up right in front with a gigantic pile of battleships. Which yeah, are I am super leading with my battleship pile covered in their defenses, such as they are. And because of that, you are a gigantic bulwark that is eating that stuff up. We have a pretty much nearly perfect setup for taking them out. 
You probably I guess so. Even. Hearts Randomizer, and there exists also Hearts of Iron has a port of Kaiser Reich, which is a pretty good old his history mod that at this point has had a bit of a while to settle into the new engine. That'll be worth trying out. An old history premised on what if Germany won the First World War in, like, the heaviest pair of quote marks that you can find. With mostly it makes design decisions around creating a scenario that has a lot of replay value and is a good framework for multiplayer throwdowns. Just as many parts of the world as possible have been either immediately broken up into opposing power blocks or like most places that do still have a large hegemon in place have a way for it to collapse into civil war in the early game. It's a scenario that makes sure that many parts of the world have an early war, a middle war, and an end game death war to throw against each other. It's very interesting, because then also it has an alternate history that's built on a lot of real historical trivia to, en to enable, like, plausible feeling shenanigans. It's right, good to see those bits make it through the, the hell the frame rate is enduring. Yeah. So we've made it through about 20% of their. Alright, so we've had 30,000 uh, 30, out of their fleet. They're lo losing it rapidly. I'm approaching being able to take them out on my own, kind of. Mm -hmm. and at this point, you could easily take them out on your own with your uh, bonuses. Looking at the breakdown, many of their large are about to break. Yeah. I have spent less than 10 boats to get as far as we've gotten. Oh, you know what's extremely weird? Hmm? I think... I think your your uh, fleet damage shows up on my end, but not yours. The boats cause. Oh wait, no, no, no. Come on, come on. Yeah, it does not. It's showing me different damage types here because of uh. Yep. Yeah, the, the Federation fleet doing that. Come on. Yeah. Federation fleet it has its slightly wider variety of flavors. Federation fleet is intended to be a solid mix between our two setups. All right, now start. Some of my own are starting to crunch, but the tipping point is here. Yep, their raw ship count is declining, so our own damage is starting to concentrate more. Yeah, in its own roundabout way, these stream problems just emphasize the dramatic weight of the battle. They have only got one battleship left. Fate of the universe and decided. Escorts. And, okay, at the time you said that, 12 were still visible on my screen. That is how much stress is occurring on the display. Now two. Now one. Yeah, because on my end, it's just 17 escorts now. 12, mm -hmm. sorry. Five died in a single volley, it seems like. Let me let me mouse over the uh, display there. Yeah, my frame of reference is three days behind you at the moment. Yeah. Oh, Looks like it's uh, catching so up, though. The, their fleet is gone. Time to uh, start taking... Play, uh, the prophecy! I'm gonna move out into Rukba. We should uh, split up and start taking them separately. Mm -hmm. uh, I will start at. Actually, I'll start here, since there's still also forts to break. Yep. I'll have my folks clean up this system. 
I'll move back up to fast now. I'll have my... My transport fleet is ready to... And with Rukba, I can actually just move in there with a single jump. Because I have... Pull my camera back out to the galaxy map. Situation log updated. Wait, fleet destroyed? Excuse me? Oh. Did you have a stray oh, something taken around? One of my soul. Uh, yeah. That's it. One of my soul. Uh, Corvettes that is like trying to join up with my fleet keeps on just encountering a uh, outpost. So whenever it comes up with fleet destroyed, it's just a single corvette. Ah. Yeah, just tiny boats bouncing, bouncing off the forward. That'll happen. Situation log updated. This outpost uses whirlwind torn whirlwind missiles. Weird hmm. and interesting. Yeah, I've seen other olds use whirlwinds. Situation log updated. I could queue up the construction of many more bees, but for now I'm going to let minerals accumulate. We have already won the decisive victory. Yeah, Receive at the moment it's unnecessary. Replacement bees can be accumulated at my leisure. Taking one of these planets. Oh, I should send out. Um... That's my mistake. I never sent uh, any army seers. The thing that you're doing. I'm uh, bringing my own armies in today. for the for our side. Thank you. Yep. Some of the war drones have managed to reorganize. Down we go. First world down. Oh, this is not going to take long at all. 
Mm -hmm. Her, the nature of space wars. Like, right, I'm gonna purged. go after the throne. Excellent. It is conveniently approximate. And I think it's space yeah, wars. Yeah, approximate. Come. And I can go into my last tradition log. Yeah, diplomacy. Planet secured. Now, uh, the moment that you take that, uh, uh, take the. And we're getting straight. Excellent. And there it is. I appreciate the assistance. I need Marvelous. to immediately alter the species. Yep. It is time for you to process your new find. In fact, I need to pause to. Uh, uh, Go for it. Man, I got a lot of points for them. Yeah, spend a moment muted to like reach behind the desk and clean out some of the, like air intakes and fans and so forth. Be sure that the machine has a fair fighting chance of enduring what is it's being put through here. Sadly, it is the season where the air is lava. Okay, time to set up a sector. Okay, I have Arrakis in my borders now. Excellent. I still have some staff science ships, so I guess I'm gonna go fly over there and get my share of the space loot. Yeah, go for if it. I can. Yeah. And I no longer have any outposts. Which is actually ideal for me. This is the ship that is still trapped due to being due to border shenanigans and having an old engine. So let me just where is button to delete? Oh, disband. There, disband. Just destroy that boat. 
And likewise this one. And you are not trapped. So you go out and do some science as well. So now it's just a matter of processing as many of the individuals as are convenient while waiting for the eventual arrival of our crisis. Yep. Or we could just win the game before the crisis even shows up. I've done that before. Yeah, if, if we hit victory condition before then, I'll call it a show where, let's see, yeah, there are all of ten independent things left in the universe. Research complete. And I have... I have 32 out of 78 planets. I have 35 out of 78. Uh, between us, that means that we have 67 out of 117 for Federation victory. Mm hmm We are overflowing with some, well, with material, which is like science in many ways. Cash is very much like a science. Knowledge crystallized into physical form. Oh right. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly take out uh take out this tumor. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Yes, I would love to be continue being your patron. Debris analyzed. Well we're going about annihilating and consuming all of these other sorts of creature. The Special artisans they can stay. Complete. Oh, they amuse the yeah, queen. The artisans can stay. They make, yeah, complete. they make art for the queen. It's just good stuff, right? They are the most clever of pets. Mm -hmm. I would appreciate the approval of the war. Ah, yes, I have to uh, get that. Debris analyzed. Thank you. Go for it. I just need to take this, uh, these two more, this two around real quick. The pigs will be part of the the mind shortly construction complete lactic power surge okay construction here we go complete. uh we have the unbidden construction complete construction mm -hmm. complete construction somewhere complete. dimensional fatigue is underway construction complete construction complete construction complete all right, uh, uh, my equipment setup is actually pretty much ideal for the unbidden. Debris yep, there they are. Analyzed. Situation log updated. Uh, pause real quick. Where are they yep. at? They're uh, on they, um... my extreme east. They are as east as possible for me, but they are there. Um, yes. Counterclockwise from you. Between the two of us, we could almost immediately take them out. Or we could let them devour the Chaos Dominion. If they're gonna go that way, but I think they're actually encroaching on mine. You know, if they go at you, then certainly resist. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait a hot second while I Research start to build complete. more and more places, and mm -hmm. ships. So for someone. Unacquainted with Christ. All right, yeah, that was some research off of debris. Project complete. Good for that. So the unbidden here 
are energy beings from beyond space. Creatures of higher dimensions. They're space demons. They are here for food. They can occur yeah. if anyone meddles with the fabric of the universe by way of discovering powerful engines. Yeah, they they tend to show up if anyone researches jump drives early, and then every time you jump, there's an extremely infinitesimally small chance for them to show start to show up. So they show up, they have this main portal that is their home that they spawn from, and then they will if they successfully take ground, they will start building anchors, which serve as shields to protect the portal. You need to take out all of the anchors complete. in order to be able to close the portal and shut them down. Yeah. If the unbidden event goes on for t too long, this actually fail-safes in it to prevent it from com becoming completely uncontrollable, which means it's probably the most like well-thought-out out of all of the... Uh, end game events because at that point there are two other factions of unbidden that show up which hate each other so they start the fight amongst themselves as well yes and they're oh, mutually fighting each other for food yeah and there is a maximum amount of unbidden that can exist I think so it can never just completely take over the galaxy it will just it is not quite like say the Pretherin where they can the end green. up replacing and expanding their fleet faster than anyone could reasonably fight them. Yeah. Plus, if you if you get there early enough, um, the Unbidden are actually deal with them. Like, you, you can take them out before uh, they can take you out, pretty much. Yeah, overall spectrum of crises as of these versions, Pertherin can Special be a bit too tough. Complete. AI is far too weak. Yeah, that's something that's already... AI crisis is getting a rework. The robots... Yeah, it's gonna just gonna be a whole different work. thing. It will not, it will not rework at all like it used to. Unbidden uh, are also, just right right now. They're quite effective. Mm -hmm. Difficult, but deal deal withable, and also they are not. Um, they cannot completely spiral out of control. Powerful within limits that can be managed. Yeah, like I'm going to go ahead and take out one of their fleets right here, one of the three that they start out with, and that's not gonna be a big deal. Because, um, functionally, mine is... What does Defender of the Galaxy do? Uh, plus 50%, so that means that my fleet is, like, twice as powerful as theirs. Even though it's only mildly larger in raw number. Mm -hmm. Oh, plus, I think... I think all they do to planets is basically purge them. So, it, it doesn't become, like, a shrouded world, or... Uh, yeah, they just bombard they, the planet to death and move on, but leave it otherwise usable so even if you lose most of your stuff at some point and then just by sheer luck get enough stuff to take them out uh you can rebuild unlike with the unlike with the horde which is uh there's too much they completely and permanently destroy planets yep. the bio goo is irreparable But the physics goo, that is reputable. Since I have kinetic weapons and heavy shields, they can do very little to me. Oh, also, because we got the Unbidden, I think we can re uh, research matter disintegrators once we get the Oh chance. yeah, you learn those by disassembling these guys. Oh, wow. That damage bonus, though. I'm melting this fleet. I'm watching you melt that fleet. That damage bonus on your particle lances. Your attack beams. Yeah, the torpedoes and the plasma cannons are really just taking them out. And that's it. That, that fleet did almost no damage to me. I might be able to take... Um, no, that would actually be too much for me. I can't take on the main fleet by myself. And then the goddamn Chaos Dominion over here uh, doesn't want to let me into their borders, so I can't take out their extra one. Which means that for a long time, I'm going to just kind of hang out here. and build just relax stuff. a while and watch them suffer. Yeah, I don't want to let them get too out of control, though, you know? Because... 
make things worse for us. I've reached over into the designs from my other classes above before remembering, right, I don't use those. They're out of date because they're obsolete. My new meta. Okay. Bark all of those in Atlanta, and they'll take that out when they get the chance. Research complete. Debris analyzed. Yeah, but the fact that I've already taken out a third of the Unbidden Fleet is going to slow their advance quite a lot. Oh, also, uh, if you remember the very, very early versions of the game in which the Unbidden advanced insanely quickly, unlike unlike the rest of the two, they actually slowed down the advance of the Unbidden pretty significantly. Oh. Uh, I'm fighting another Unbidden Fleet over here. Excellent. Construction complete. You've caught their attention. Construction They're complete. interested in you. I am Wonderful. watching this number disintegrate as you side through them, just from out here on the map screen, where the frame rate stayed smooth. It's interesting, because there's like the proportional health indicator that keeps occasionally notches back up, because every time you destroy a ship, the max health of the fleet goes down. Yeah, it, it's cool because, also, I'm only losing like 3,000 per fight here, whereas they are losing most of Oh, their other fleet is moved down there. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Yep. okay. Yeah, you have a monopoly on their attention, and you'll be able to grind them down one at a time. What a good yeah. portrait they have. I Look mean, at their their image. I'm gonna, I can diploma at them, right? Just to hear them be rude. Yeah. Get that open. Look at that. Look at this cool energy man. Yeah, the Unbidden Portrait's pretty cool. cool. Behold its glory here in, you know, the haze dimension. Just look at him wobble around with his constellation of eyes. I'm only losing like 3,000 per attack on them while they lose their entire fleet. This is incredible. Yep, you've got the bonus and the decisive firepower. You are decisive firepower, the also the ideal firepower setup. There's a number of things that makes it good. So the unbidden mechanical gimmick is basically that they have they have no armor whatsoever. In fact, they they have none. They they have zero armor. They do not have armor. Period. Uh, but they have quite a lot of shielding. They have and, outlandish shielding. Yeah, absurd, incredible amounts of shielding. And this might tell you, oh, so missiles, which ignore shields, are the best choice for them, right? No. They, they do have point defense, unfortunately. So the best choice against them the is... The um, is the gun. It's, it's gun. Yeah, gun is the best choice, and my fleets are almost entirely gun. Looks like another uh, fleet is going to be coming out soon. I just have to make sure to know where they're going. Omicron Persei, okay. Uh, I'll catch him up. On the pass. 
Uh, I will send the Fed fleet out your way. I would appreciate that, because I think between the two of us, we could just try to take out the Embedding fleet. And while ha leaving them alive would probably make for exciting stream viewing, it's also just a pain in the ass to actually deal with the, uh, the end game events. Also, just like matter, exciting right? stream viewing is being largely sabotaged by by math and climate. By math with respect to climate. Yeah. Construction complete. The devices involved are quite upset with the situation I placed them in. Right. Fair enough. The moment I, uh... Ah, there we go. The uh, the board flipped. You have control, direct control of the fleet. It was already moving towards you, but oh, now it's in your hand. I think actually, between these two, um, with just the, these two, now that they have the bonus for uh, against these, I think yeah, we can I think take that, them out. That's the leverage you need to just go after the gate completely. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, about 200,000 power. 36 large, 56 cruiser, 86 escort. And um, merging them together. Merging them together uh, with a, a, a low five aggressive admiral. Mm -hmm. Gives me... It's 98. Uh, about 178 times 1.5, which gives me about 255 versus their 190, which that is good enough as it is. Problem would be if another one decided to show up. I think for backup sake, uh, having your actual fleet in there too would really just clinch All right, it. I'll bring this swarm around. All right. We'll deploy them into support role though. You take the lead here, since you have the bonuses. And also, uh, the... Hmm. Oh, well, whatever right. that was, it's that, dead. Those are the guys I just killed. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, it's my tumor gone. So my quarter is now gorgeous. Right, and the bad squid people remain in the Federation, so that's for... The next, the next apocalyptic war against Space South over here. The next apocalyptic war where they have actual no recourse because I think each of us independently have so much fire air power that we could take out the entire galaxy by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Take the old contact list, relative power Receive rating. Complete. Because I have not yet finished rebuilding from the old war, the Screamers, the Chozo, and the Chaos Dominion are considered equivalent to me. And the Chaos Dominion just flipped to inferior as I finished two more boats. All you need is two boats to shore up the, the fight, huh? Mm-hmm. I too All right, to speak War Swarm him. is three jumps away. All right. I'm just uh, consolidating my extra firepower coming in. They're almost done. I'm feeling like we want to wait until they spawn another 70,000 size fleet. We take that out, and then we move in, and we won't have to worry about, um... Sounds like know. a plan. 
Yeah, because if a fresh one appeared in the middle of an ongoing battle, that could cause problems. Yeah. So we lure it out first. They're, um... They're, sh they're makers, the void shapers and the extra dimensional invaders. Uh, they have not moved from the main uh, system. They've not had the chance. It's great. Excellent. Alright, War Swarm has reached or is near your staging area. Which system are you actually staging in? Construction. Uh, Omicron? I'm going to stage it in Acubens. The only reason why I moved them to Omicron over here is because uh, there's a space port over here. Construction. Alright, uh, we'll yeah, join you. complete. Taking their sweet time and actually building another fleet. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they are tired. Construction complete. All right, we are here. Up. And they've even failed to kill a curator station at this point. Nice. Oh, that's right. Complete. God. Uh, whatever. I'll just let those, uh, these guys get hurt instead of... Yeah, no need to worry about integration. We are fairly complete right now. I'm thinking we're actually we should move in. I, I'm, I'm getting bored of waiting for them. Go for it. Okay. The moment that these uh, uh, ones that are moving in have merged together, that's when it's time to move. Construction complete. We'll be right behind you. We're also under consideration since they do, since Unbidden have decent point defense. I would like to wait to engage until many of their gun are occupied. Yeah, alright. Setting my fighters out ahead of the rest of the fleet would just get them chewed up pointlessly. Whereas having the fighters operate side by side with your small boats will give them more of a fighting chance. Yeah. 
which case, uh, I think it will be time for me to move in then. Up oh, no. Uh, sorry, sorry, don't, don't move in, don't move in, don't move in. Because, uh, they it's just there. built a new fleet. It just now it's arrived. Like... Here it is, just in time, and it's tiny. Look at this tiny baby fleet. Uh... Yeah, it's real small. What's it this 30,000 fleet, my, my dude? We eat that for breakfast. Is there something happening in chaos space? Yeah, I was just looking looking that. What? I'm in the system and there is a there's a thingamajig floating here. Construction oh yeah, there complete. it is. There they are. Time to move these guys in. There is a thing. There is an anomaly. There's a Yeah. A what's name? Tiny baby, the unbidden fleet, versus mm -hmm. your rather sizable one, and then mine coming in from behind. Yeah, like, like, let me check the species here. Chaos Dominion. Have you have you been up to a move? Have you sought forbidden traits, Chaos Dominion? Did you desire the power, Chaos Dominion? Did you covet the power, Chaos Dominion? They, they are militarist materialists, so they can't do any. S yeah, yeah, presumably not on that front. Where are they? Sort by numeracy. Alright, so Chozo are not wizards. Fosens oh, are not wizards. Mirobs are not wizards. Screamers are not wizards. Not seeing any psychics in the roster, so it shouldn't That's be a... anything shroud related. Yeah. All right. Well, they they had a thing pop up, and so it's time to fight. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Neutral target. Awesome. What? Why is it considered a neutral target? The portal has... Maybe that's implementation of the fact it has barriers? That or something has gone terribly wrong under the hood. Yeah, Either way, we should kill. Here that you notice Start that shooting. this is extra-dimensional portal space. It's not... Uh, it's not unbidden space. Hmm. What is this neutral portal? Excuse me? The portal betrayed them. Space knows no loyalty. We should maybe take advantage of the situation, though, to, to point them in the gut. Yeah. 
Did the game get extremely confused and then separate the Unbidden from the portal? Maybe? Are you doing a move, Unbidden? Uh, Has I'm a move been done system. to you? I'm in the system. I'm about to move in. Yep, I'm on the way to join you. Which should provide an appropriate envelope for uh, combat distances. Okay, okay. Um, the Unbidden still count as hostile. I, yeah. It, it, oddly enough, the portal counts as neutral. Yeah, that seems to be it. Just the portal has become dissociated from its masters. Maybe that's it. Uh, rearing up to bring in the... I think it's the Aberrant and the... Vengeant or something? The uh, Vehement. Yeah. That'd be weird if it was boosting up to do that this early. Splitters. <laughs> this is where frame rates go to die. Especially in this. Oh, geez, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to go ahead and... I'm going to replace every single one of my uh, non-gun guns with matter disintegrators. In fact, I'm just going to replace most of my guns with matter disintegrators now. Enjoy. I mean, you're just cutting out the middle, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, matter disintegrators are just... They are better than everything else, yeah, just straight up. Much. I am attempting to send the attack order to the swarm. Is having a trouble. Once again, my frame of reference is three days behind you. Let right. me leave the space. Oh, I may have accidentally only sent one boat. I may have touched the uh, fleet that was approaching mine rather than the rest of the fleet the first time. There we go. Now the order exists. Yes, there's just one that got out ahead of the, of the pack. And just joining you now. One especially ambitious bees. Ooh, their main fleet is already down 60,000. Well, that's a number. Hmm. That's that's a melted fleet right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, the commander's yeah. name is Gar. Yeah. Commander Gar, Gar. who is 38. 38-year-old <laughs> ethereal. 38-year-old vague mass of energy. Goddamn millennial energy types. The waveforms these days don't know what it means to really work for a living. They don't know. Back in my day, the background radiation was only 1.8 degrees Kelvin and we liked it. Holy shit, I'm rich. Uh, I, I turned off the, uh, you know, the mineral and energy intake from the, the old sector while I was integrating them. Mm-hmm. Which means I wasn't getting the bonus benefit from their cash and mineral intake. And, and oh boy, I'm making 750 energy a month and 930 mineral a month. Nice. It just occurred to me, because you mentioned that, that I'm not running the highest tax rates on the sectors that I have. Yeah, there's no reason to whatsoever on uh, Hive Mind especially. I think maybe there, there's occasional... Um, Deficit solved. Oh, there was another unbidden place. Construction complete. Hmm. 
Well, goes on the pile with the rest. Yep. And now we're just left with this wild portal. I mean, really, who's to, who's to say it's involved in anything? It's a hole. It doesn't have an allegiance, it's terrain. How do you, uh... How do you destroy it? Well, normally you just shoot it a bunch, but it, it did a traitor. It has diplomatic immunity, this hole in space. It somehow managed to not allow anyone to attack it? Yeah, it's just sort of saying cannot be attacked. Like, yeah, I believe that's the intended method. You just right click it and attack it, but it, it's not letting me. Hmm. Maybe it's right. because I'm. Well, in this fight right here, my ones there melted. All right, another thought that I have here is: are my deep mine and probably your default first contact protocol is peaceful? Oh, let me flip that to spiteful, and then like so, if it's wildlife yeah. category right now. Peaceful, aggressive. Yes, can attack neutral entities. Okay, it's giving me the uh, the lines saying that it, it should be allowed yeah. to now. Yeah, I just ordered an attack. It gives the warning of, are you sure it'll be hostile now? And that's fine. Or at least, I've said that, and now we'll see if that... Yeah, there we go. Now that I've caught up with frame of reference, we go to war with a hole. Well, it, we should be, but the, the fight's not starting. Did they manage to build an anchor somewhere? Is that what that mystery object was? Mystery object? There there was an anomaly over in the Ablene system. Some kind of glowy object. I also over the Federation fleet over here. Yeah, it was near like the northmost planet. Speed up a little bit. Oh. Hmm? Uh, dimensional anchor. Okay. Alright, yep. So they the thing I saw was like the aura surrounding this thing, which is now dead. And must destroy each of those. So yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that coincided yeah, okay. with yeah. when we were cut off from except now temporarily exiled for diplomatic reasons, the war's form. The f uh, the fight murder the tendril is still in position. Yeah. There yes. it is. Good. We did it. Crisis averted. We by uh, thirty four thousand unity. Yeah, that's that's a lot of unity. Nice. Jeez. Hey. We dealt with a uh, with a thing. We saved the universe. Um, did it spawn any things for you to research? Mm, no. Oh, that's a shame. That means... Mm. That's fine. Matter disintegrators are not bees. True. They are. Construction complete. 
construction complete. Peace in space, then. Yeah, that was, uh, that's literally the only challenge that we have left. Yeah, the like, possibility no of, the of the Unbidden or other crisis getting revved up. The rest of this is busy work. Yet still, this mystery dot at the center of the galaxy. Every so often, map generator does that. Maybe someday those will do something. Well said, though. Yeah, from that, I think um, we'll end it all that the victory. We don't need. Yeah, we don't need a scoreboard to tell us where we stand. That's completely fair. We know we where we stand. The universe. We stand we st beside each other. Together. Just two brothers. Two brothers. Faced up against the mound of everything else and conquered them. The constellation of the brothers. There it is. The bees and the peas. In space. So that's some that's some multiplayer. That's some hive mind. That's some ongoing as of the current state of things. Stellaris. Pretty solid. Still continuing to improve. Still has parts of it that drastically need work. Space is pretty alright. At the very least, the multiplayer is far and away the best way to play this game. It mm -hmm. uh, smooths out a significant number of problems with the game. Yep. And among the things that have, like, just structurally across all the para games gotten drastically better, they've really nailed down their netcode. Yeah, this, this netcode almost never desyncs. Like, Previous and generation, or even like half generation of para games ago, there would be no hope of anything staying in sync for long, over even the shortest span of time. Whereas this is stuck together, even while in the process of like my board melting due to lack of air control, things have stayed in line. Yeah. Whereas with this one, it's been rare for desync to happen in the first place and even if it does all it does is just stop for like a couple seconds and let that person uh, resynchronize mm -hmm. and then it works perfectly I've never seen the, des the resynchronization fail so there, there it is it was two space. brothers space space